Hello everyone, welcome to Frontier Hotspots, it is a channel focusing on the most cutting-edge technology and engineering in China and the world. The Weichi Highway in Xinjiang, China has officially opened to traffic, the Weichi Desert Highway is the third highway in China that passes through the Taklamakan Desert. Here is the popular science for everyone. The first road that crosses the Taklamakan Desert is the Taklamakan Desert Highway, also known as the Darim Desert Highway. It was completed in September 1995. The road connects Lunan in the north and Minfong in the south, with a total length of 522 kilometers. The mobile desert section is 446 kilometers long. The second desert road that crosses the Taklamakan Desert is the Aral Hoshan Desert Highway. It starts from Aral in the north, reaches Hotan in the south, and runs through the Taklamakan Desert in Xinjiang, known as the Sea of Death, with a total length of 424 kilometers. Level 2, officially opened to traffic in October 2008. Compared with the previous two desert highways, the area where the Weiji Desert Highway passes is denser and taller. The design route faces 32 tall and large sandy mountains with a maximum height of more than 100 meters, there are 28 interhill depressions with a maximum length of 12 kilometers. According to data, the Taklamakan Desert is located in the center of the Darim Basin in southern Xinjiang. It is the largest desert in China, the tenth largest desert in the world, and the second largest mobile desert in the world. The entire desert is about 1,000 kilometers long from east to west, 400 kilometers wide from north to south, and covers an area of 330,000 square kilometers. The average annual precipitation does not exceed 100 millimeters, and the minimum is only 4 or 5 mm, while the average evaporation is as high as 2,500 to 3,400 millimeters. The Taklamakan Desert is known as the Sea of Death, where you can't get in but you can't get out. The Weichi Desert Highway is the desert highway with the longest mileage under construction in the world, the desert highway with the most frequent shifting of mobile dunes, the desert highway with the worst construction conditions, high temperature and heat, sandstorm, strong ultraviolet rays, the desert highway with the most difficult construction, there are many tall sandy ridges and the longest land between the hills, the most desolate desert road, five nose, no road, no water, no electricity, no signal, no trace of life, the most warm and meaningful national road, connecting the north and south of the Taklamakan Desert, the ties of the two nations. After the road is completed, the distance from Chimaw County, which is located on the southern edge of the desert, to the northern Xinjiang will be greatly shortened, and a new passage will be added to the northern and southern Xinjiang separated by the desert. So how did Chinese builders build roads in places without water, electricity, and signals? What difficulties and challenges have the builders overcome in the past five years? Take a look. The first difficulty, sand hills and basins. More than 40 bulldozers pushed for 150 days. The Yuchi Highway connects Yuli County and Chimo County, located in the Darim Basin between the southern slope of the Tian Shan Mountains and the northern foothills of the Alton Mountains, passing through the hinterland of the Taklamakan Desert. The total length of the road is 334 kilometers, the desert section is 307 kilometers long, and there are more than 30 tall sandy mountains in the area. It is the third road that crosses the Sea of Death after the two desert roads of Luntaminfeng and Aksualar Hoshan. Building a road in the desert, the biggest challenge is sand. The person in charge of the Chinese project said that he had never seen such a big sandbag, our construction personnel were all on site for food and lodging, and they drove more than 40 high-power crawler bulldozers for 150 days before they completely destroyed the mountain. The excavation volume of this sand mountain alone is as high as 1.5 million cubic meters, accounting for one-eighth of the excavation volume of the entire project. The second difficulty, extreme heat and little rain. The surface is close to 70 degrees Celsius, and it can even fry an egg. The annual average precipitation in the Taklamakan Desert does not exceed 100 millimeters, 
while the average evaporation is as high as 2,500 to 3,400 mm. The staff said the extreme heat was the second test the construction team faced. The temperature in the Taklamakan Desert is very high in summer, with a temperature of more than 40 degrees, and the surface temperature is close to 70 degrees Celsius. During the hottest time of the year, the boiling quicksand can cook eggs. To prevent heat stroke, the field operators have to drink on average every day. 8 to 10 liters of water. But it is also very laborious to fetch water, mainly from the outside of the desert to be transported in, and it takes more than 250 kilometers to go back and forth to the water point closest to the construction site. The third difficulty, more than 400 workers, more than 700 days. One shovel, one shovel, one foot and one foot step out of the Chinese Rubik's Cube. To build roads in the world's second largest mobile desert, hard work alone is not enough. The key is to solve the problem of sand control and sand fixation. So, how to protect the road from being buried by yellow sand? The builders adopted the Chinese Rubik's Cube, a grass square technique that embodies Chinese wisdom. According to reports, the grass grid is a grid-shaped windbreak wall made of reed materials on the flowing sand dunes. By making the ground rougher, the wind is reduced and the quicksand is blocked. The person in charge of the project said that mechanization is not useful for construction on the undulating sandy land. First, each bundle of 70 kilograms of reeds must be manually carried into the desert, and after being transported to the designated location, the construction grid lines should be drawn on the dunes. Then place the neatly trimmed reeds on the grid line, and use a shovel to embed the reeds into the sand from the middle, so that the two ends of the grass are raised, and the height of the exposed ground is about 20 to 25 centimeters. Then use sand to firm the foundation, and finally form a square one meter long and wide. The more than 58 million square squares of grass on the Yuchi Highway were built by more than 400 workers, who spent more than 700 days shoveling in and stepping out. The opening of the Yuchi Highway will greatly facilitate the travel of the people in Yuli County and Chimal County, and improve the difficulty in selling local agricultural products. In addition, the area that the Weiji Highway passes through is an enrichment belt of petroleum geological reserves in the Darim Basin, which will provide strong support for future oil and gas exploration, development, and transportation, and further promote the economic and social development of southern Xinjiang.